dark and darker. It is looking like it is dead and deader. They have been served a, this is a message that they posted to everyone in their Discord. To our, all our fans, we have recently been served a cease and desist letter and DMCA takedown by Nexon regarding Dark and Darker based on distorted claims. We are currently working with our legal team to remedy this issue in the best manner possible. Due to the sensitive legal nature of this issue, uh, we must be careful with our statements so as to not put in uh, our position in jeopardy. Uh, we ask for your understanding as we work to get the game back up as quickly as possible. Please know that we will do all that we can that is possible for our fans. Thanks. So, Dark and Darker, apparently, what's so crazy about this is I think I was one of the first people to talk about this. I watched like some random obscure YouTube video that was making a video about like a Reddit post. And they were like, yeah, Dark and Darker is stolen from some Korean studio or something like that. Nexon, yes. So let's read a few of these comments. Nexon, uh, as in the gotcha games and pay to win MMORPGs, Nexon. Or am I missing something? That's right. So the people from Dark and Darker, correct me if I'm wrong, they used to work for Nexon. And guess what? Let's take a look at two of these different games. Um, Dark and Darker. Nexon comparison. Let's see if we can find a good one. Uh, is there an image of this that we can take a look at it? So, this is a screenshot here from the P3 project that was worked on at Nexon. Hmm. If I showed this picture and a picture of Dark and Darker to my dad, he'd say it's the same game. I think a lot of people would. Let's take a look at some of the other comparisons that we have. Do we have any more of them? Uh, is this, yeah, this is another version, okay? So here's another one, it's not looking good. Oh, oh wait, wait a second. Are there multiple why am I why am I seeing this one but I'm only seeing this one? Open image and new tab maybe? Ah, uh, this is not a very good comparison. But yeah, as you can see it's a lot the same. Type P3 screenshots. Well we've at least got one of the screenshots right here. Uh, I, I think that's good enough for now. So anyway, um this is basically what's happened, is that Dark and Darker has been accused by Nexon of stealing their code. Uh, and also, by the way, the P3 source code was leaked from Nexon. And if I'm, if I'm correct about this, it was leaked from Nexon at the same time that the devs from Dark and Darker work there. Oh, man. All right, all right. So let's go. Okay, all right. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Whose side are you on? I'm not on anybody's side. I don't want Nexon to win. I don't want Dark and Darker to win. I will be honest, however. I think this is... it. If they did steal this, I don't think that they should be able to make the game if they stole it. They were being paid by this developer to develop a game. And in almost every single fucking software contract that I've ever heard of, any software dev contract, any work that you do while you are at a company is owned by that fucking company. And I understand you don't like Nexon because they do pay to win games. I understand that you don't like Nexon because they have gotchas. But just because you don't like something doesn't mean it's okay to steal from them. Imagine if it was. Imagine the chaos in the world. We can't live in a world like that. That's insane. You don't have to care, but you can acknowledge that not caring is actively disregarding what needs to happen. And that's fine. Nexon has stolen plenty. 
Well, then the people that they stole from should sue them. So, yeah, hopefully they work out the arrangement. I don't know if they're going to work out any kind of arrangement. You used to say, yes, yeah, steal more. That's right. I, it, and if you want to steal something, do it with a smile. But don't you fucking walk out of Walmart with a $500 television and talk about how much you don't like capitalism. Get the fuck out of here. You want the TV, just steal the TV with a smile and don't make a fucking excuse. I hate whenever people steal shit and they do bad stuff and they have all these moral fucking uh, hoops and all of these moral gymnastics they go through for why it's okay that they stole a television from Walmart. No, it's fucking not. It's not. But guess what? You can do it. I don't really give a fuck, to be honest. I don't care. But what I do care about is the intellectual dishonesty of it. That's what I fucking care about. Because it's fucking annoying. I hate reading it. You can lie to anybody else in the world. It is what it is. Never lie to yourself. Anybody who's looking at this situation objectively is lying to themselves. If they think that they see these fucking screenshots, they see software developers that leave a fucking company, they make a game that is seemingly identical to the game that they were working on at that company. You are delusional if you think Nexon doesn't have a case. And I understand, by the way, I will get hate for this take, I will get people angry at me, and they will be mad. And you know why? It's because they like Dark and Darker. It's not because they care about this, because the truth is, if Dark and Darker had made this game, and then Nexon hired people from Dark and Darker studio, and then Nexon made it, and Dark and Darker was suing Nexon, everybody would be on Dark and Darker's side. This is completely distorted by people's perception of the companies. That's it. People have a biased reason against Nexon. That's right. It's hilarious. Most people making the argument that it's a digital file, so it doesn't count as stealing. Sure. And I understand that a lot of people are going to be unhappy about what I'm saying here. And uh, you're a fan of Dark and Darker? So am I. Absolutely. Totally agree with you. This sucks. And I think at the end of the day, as a, a gamer, I think it's really disappointing. It fucking sucks, man. That, like, we have this, uh... You know, we have this game that's really fun. And then it's mired down in this bullshit. Because you're not obligated to care about their legal dispute. I'm talking about whether it's good or bad. But you don't have to really care about it. Does that make sense? I'm just saying acknowledge that, it, that it's legitimate. That's all I'm trying to say. And I think this is very legitimate. And you know what I think? I'll be surprised if we ever play Dark and Darker again. That's what I think. Let's read some comments. Our labor isn't compensated fairly, though. Okay, then don't take the contract. Simple. Oh, I'm not being compensated for my labor. Then why did you sign a contract based off of this compensation? What do you? What's wrong with you? So, so just because of because of your uh, uh, your subjective decision that you're not being paid enough money, which, by the way, I don't care what fucking job you work in, there's probably a billion people in this world that would love to be in your position and love to make that much fucking money. But let's assume that what you're saying is actually true. And guess what? what? What if somebody else who has a higher standard of living feels that same way about a job that you don't feel the same way about? Well, do we put them in jail or not? Who gets to decide? The world can't work this way. It, it just can't. As a contractor, I know that contract pay is mail, uh, smallable from uh, contract issuer's side. Well, it depends. Literally all of these assets are on the Unity store. You've played shitty games, you know you've seen those assets. Can we agree that if you leave a company and the company is making, let's say, World of Warcraft, and you leave Blizzard and you make a game 
that is identical to World of Warcraft that you were also working on while you were at Blizzard that this is problematic and they definitely have grounds for this 100 after by the way after the code was leaked which by the way if they don't know for a fact who leaked that code I would bet a million dollars that it was the people that made this game come on are you fucking delusional <laughs> they aren't suing for assets it's for code yep there you go uh, so you can't ever make a fantasy MMORPG in that case bro can you stop come on this is like people that it's like 6th graders oh I'm not running in the hall I'm walking fast no, you're not. Go to the office. I intellectually dishonest. Mm. Why is it half your chat's dumb about things? They're dumb about it for one reason. They're dumb about it because they like the game. As I said, if, if the shoe was on the other foot and necks on was the one that had stolen the... Uh, sorry, uh, that that had... Uh, fuck. Uh, yeah, if Nexon had stolen it and people were able to copy and paste and look from the two games and then Dark and Darker was suing them for stolen code, everybody would be on Dark and Darker's side. Everybody would be. It has nothing to do with the facts. It is common sense. Didn't Nexon cancel P3? Just because a company cancels a project, that does not mean that they do not own it anymore. That's not the way it works. It's that simple. Let's see here. Then why don't they bring back P3? I don't know. It, it, that's, that's, that's their prerogative. It's their game. With facts, we don't know if they're using source code that was developed at Nexon. I, I think that there are a number of facts that we can look at. So there are... Let, let's look at, like, absolute objective facts. Okay. P3 looks a lot like Dark and Darker. I, I, I think this is very fair. Right? We can all agree on this. P3 looks a lot like Dark and Darker. That's not a fact. Yeah, but does it look a lot like it? It's the same game. Okay, yeah. Yeah, of course. Alright. So next. Um, Dark and Darker devs worked at Nexon when the code for P3 was leaked. Okay? This is an objective fact right I want to go down one at a time yes okay exact same mobs too yes okay um next um is I think there might be a third one. Oh. um is a standard of evidence required for a uh for a cease and desist or for a claim like this So there is, there has to be a standard of evidence. I don't know about this in South Korea. I, I probably actually, you know what? Let's just ignore that because nobody knows the answer to that. Okay, I think that's very simple. But again, I'm going to use my my common sense here. I don't think the police in South Korea are just going to go around raiding people based off if some big company told them that they stole something. They probably have to submit some level of evidence or some level of proof that these things happened. I don't think that they just get to randomly say, hell yeah, you just go, go raid these people for no reason. I think that's ridiculous. Let's see. Are there any more of these? Um. Oh yeah. Dark and Darker Devs 
said they were disillusioned by the current game climate. They've said this, I read it. Bad take there, they do raid on a whim. I don't believe that. Yeah, I, I, I don't believe it. Looks like I agree, but they don't own ideas. Here. Grimmy Bear, what do you think the odds are that the Dark and Darker devs leak the code? What do you think the odds are? If you had to put a percentage on it. Thought exercise. I would say, if I had to bet, not sure, couldn't speculate. Could be high, but the high probability doesn't mean that you can act legally on it. A high probability aligned with all of these other things absolutely means that you can investigate it. What are you talking about? So you're saying that people who left the company, who then made a game that looks identical to the game that they were making at the company, who then the code for said game was mysteriously leaked while those people worked at that company, you think that's not grounds for an investigation at all? You think that's not probable cause? I think at fucking absolutely. And it doesn't mean that they're just instantly guilty. But it needs to be investigated because clearly something happened. Clearly. Like, how can you possibly fucking deny that? You can't look at these facts, at this obvious chain of events. And then there are also things that are like 95% certainties. Like, come on, man. Yeah, it doesn't warrant a raid. Um, I don't know that. I, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't, I, that doesn't matter to me. That's irrelevant. <sighs> South Korea is not the U.S. Why would that matter? Does real, is, is, does, is reality, uh, is, a, is reality an illusion there? Do things not happen in the same way? Just because the game devs are bad doesn't mean you can't enjoy the game either. That's right. And there's a chance they could get through this. And there's a chance that they could settle with Nexon, and Nexon could have a large majority ownership in the company or in the game uh, or, or something like that. I have no idea. However, I think the idea that Nexon does not have like, any grounds to even investigate this is fucking insane. You are an absolute fucking fanboy if you don't think that this chain of events and this timeline is not grounds for investigation. I don't know what to say. Asmon, they legit just look similar. It's silly to think that they got... Uh, they get to take this down just because, ooh, similar assets. That is only one of the three objective points. Let me read Gummy, Grimmy Bear's point again. Let's read this. There's a big difference between investigation and serving a cease and desist while giving DMCA for assets and codes that aren't proven to be made by Nexon. But the DMCA wasn't for the assets, it was for the code. And the code, I don't know if it was proven that it was made by Nexon or not. The way that a DMCA works is that, so, so this is the way a DMCA works, is that you send a DMCA and the place that receives it has to take down the content. However, the people that can respond to it can actually, um, they can not take it down, or sorry, they can, uh, they can fight the DMCA. Like on YouTube, you can actually contest a DMCA. And then if you contest the DMCA, then that person has to send legal notice. So they're already way past that. If it's the same code, it was Nexon's code. That's pretty much what I care about. 
If they stole source code, it's absolutely a problem. Otherwise, I think it's bullshit because they don't own the ideas. I do think that to an extent, Nexon does own the idea. I absolutely think so. Fundamentally, a lot of things are ideas. And whenever you have so many things that come together and so many different ideas, so many different points on an idea, I absolutely think so. Yeah, it's an IP. Yeah, it's probably trademarked by Nexon. A hundred percent. It's a shit take, my man. If it was really a shit take, you'd say why. The truth is that I'm obviously right. And at a certain point, whenever you combine... So, here, let me give you an example. Uh, if you took World of Warcraft and you copied every single thing about the game, you copied having the inventory at the bottom here, you copied all of the names of the abilities, because the names are just ideas, right? And then you copied the way that the UI was structured, and you copied it right down to a T to where if you looked at one of these games, it's like one of those Facebook games where it's like, uh, you know, it's Billadin and it's Illidan with a trucker hat on. It's obviously fucking Illidan. At a certain point, you do cross into IP theft. You absolutely do, even with an idea. And there is an extent for that, and I think to say otherwise is completely intellectually dishonest, and it is disprovable by any sort of analysis into the idea. Instantaneously. I don't agree at all. It's not about agreeing, because I'm just right. If, if you think that I'm wrong, tell me why I'm wrong. Give me an example of how I'm wrong, so I can make you look fucking stupid. Give me an example. Let's go. So basically what Kick is doing with their UI and their site? I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. Dota and League? Well, actually, um, Dota, or sorry, League, Blizzard sued... Yeah, they sued Dota. Now, Dota won because the game was different enough. They did. Absolutely. Hmm. It's talking about one genre. Yeah. It's an entire different thing. Yeah. Exactly. We don't know how different the two games are. I think that if you looked at Dota whenever... If you looked at Dota whenever it was be whenever they were being sued by Blizzard, and you looked at what Dota was in Warcraft 3, I think there were less similarities there than there are with this. I feel like this game and Dark and Darker have more similarities than Dota had with the uh, Warcraft 3 fucking like version of the game. The code's completely different between Dota and Dota 2. They look exactly the same? I don't really think so. I think they've been changed a lot. Look at Nexon stock price. Um, okay. Actually, like, I don't really care. Um, Nexon just wants a settlement? Maybe. Uh, so there's some ambiguity there? Oh, absolutely there's ambiguity. And, and I want to make it... This is what I think happened, okay? This is what I think happened. I think that the people worked at Nexon, they weren't happy that their project got cancelled, they leaked the code, they quit, and they started making the game anyway. That's what I think happened. That, that's exactly what I think happened. I, I, I can't imagine a world where that's not what happened. How do you know Nexon isn't lying about the code leak? I don't. I don't, and I want to make this very clear. I, I feel like if I had to base, like, what do I think the probability of that is? Easily over 50%. I'd say, like, 90% chance. However, I wouldn't put somebody in jail for that. I wouldn't shut down their game for that. I would investigate it and see if there's proof and go through the legal system that everybody has to go through. Everybody deserves their day in court to defend themselves and to be able to prove something or not. A hundred percent.
You seem to mistake the idea for concept and asset. <clears throat> if you can give me a minute to type out, I give you a brief explanation. Mistake the uh, uh, mistake idea for concept and asset. Um, I, I do think that if you take a game, like, and again, if this is a game, you've got to keep in mind, it's not just, there's another really big component to this. So even if you think that the, that it's not similar enough, I think that the case becomes 10 times stronger whenever you keep in mind that the people literally worked at the company and in these software development contracts, which I'm pretty sure these people had, it would be an overarching umbrella of anything that they do on, in that company at the time whenever they're employed there is owned by the company. So it's not like, for example, somebody saw P3 and then they made a game and they never worked at fucking Nexon. It's totally different, the fact that they work there, they develop the game, and then they quit, and they kept making the same game. So many assumptions to make this argument work? I don't think so at all. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I don't think I'm making... I, I think that everything I'm saying is completely sound. hundred percent correct. Anyone arguing against Aspen's points just trolling? A hundred percent. If they can prove they worked on their own game, uh, worked on it on their own time and enough differences to the company's work. But no, that's not how it works. Because, again, correct me if I'm wrong. If you're in software development, but is it not extremely common and almost uniform that anything that you work on while you are in employment of this company that is within the same scope of what your job is is also owned by the company. Yes. Okay. Well, then that's... that's, that's, that's oh. Holy shit. It is like that. Yes. 100% true. I have that in my contract. That would be the intellectual property of Nexon. Uh, they all make you sign non-competes. Anything you work on in the company time or on company property. That's right. I'm a software engineer. I can confirm. Yep, there we go. I'm glad everybody agrees. <clears throat> so yes, um, the scientists that develop pharma molecules for drugs get to sell those molecules on their own. No, it's the company's property. That's right. So, uh, anyway, I am not certain that this happened. But if I had to bet one thing or another, this is what I think happened again. I think that the guys that make uh, that make Dark and Darker, they worked at Nexon. They were working on P3. They weren't happy with the fact that it got canceled. They weren't happy with the direction of the game. And they, or at least someone that they know and they were okay with, leaked the code. I think they probably leaked it. And then they left the company. They made their own company. And they kept making the game that got cancelled. That's what I think happened. If I had to bet. That's what makes the most sense. That's what... That's what they would do if they were acting in their own best interest. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But I, uh, I, uh, unless they settle with Nexon or something like this, uh, I, I don't think we're probably ever going to play Dark and Darker again. Uh, isn't software development example the same of assets and code? Does it cover ideas even if nothing was used from the company other than that? Uh, I think that that is the problem, okay, so here's really the truth, is that that is such an ambiguous concept that it has to be argued in court. Like, this isn't something where it's like, you're speeding, you were doing 37 and it was a 20 mile an hour zone, you get a ticket. But I think it is absolutely, like, worth going to court over this. Absolutely. If they did steal any code, then yes, exactly. But ideas cannot be stolen. Genshin, Tower of Fantasy, Breath of the Wild, hell, any of the Minecraft clones. 
I think at a certain point, it depends on how many overlaps there are. But I do think that if you made a game that was exactly the same, that it probably would, uh, um, it, it probably would count under that. And also, just because there are clones and there are examples of game devs copying each other, like for example, the people that worked at at Honkai Impact didn't have Honkai Impact canceled and then they left the company to make Tower of Fantasy. That didn't happen. So like, this isn't really the same thing. Yeah, yeah, good luck CND. Yeah, and also it's a Chinese company. Truist, do you agree with the IP laws? Um, I actually, in this case, I do. I do agree with the, with the, if you pay somebody to work on something whenever they are, if you pay somebody your money to work on a product and then you decide to not use that product for whatever reason, I don't think that it's fair for them to just disregard the fact that they paid you for this and just go and make it on your own. I think that's very unethical. I actually do. And this comes from somebody who is like not a very big, uh, you know, copyright enjoyer. Last thing, uh, canceled without an established IP. I'm curious to see how it gets plays on court. Well, I mean, it clearly has an established IP in it. And like, just because a game doesn't get released doesn't mean that they don't own the, the intellectual property of it. Or someone personally agree, thinks, agrees, uh, uh, thinks ideas can get stolen or not. The law as it stands today most certainly says that ideas can be stolen. It seems like Chad is once again completely missing the point. Yes. Uh, again, people are arguing against this because they want the game to succeed. You ran on all accounts. They're going to argue that certain IPs uh, that are stolen beyond the code. Then it will be up to their legal system to determine what IP the original company owned. Some of these things might be removed from the game to allow it to continue. This is coming from someone who never played these games. And that is also, that's actually a really good point. You could be right about that. Is that Dark and Darker could actually be allowed to continue, but they would have to change a, a, a good amount of the dynamics of their game. Or probably at least a handful of things. So that's actually, yeah, I never really thought of that, but you're right. Nexon filed class copyright for them on February 9th, barely a month ago. Very uh, a month ago, anything was filed for P3. I, I don't know how that works. I have no idea. Name one video game lawsuit that proved successfully uh, that something was stolen. Um, one video game lawsuit that proved successfully something was stolen. Um, I, it's hard to because the games would get shut down. Uh, let me think. Myth of Empire. Uh, Tetris. PUBG versus Fortnite. Yeah, PUBG was going to sue Fortnite, but because Tencent owned both of them, they shut down the lawsuit. Um, Dota had to change a bunch of names on characters. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that, that's a few of them, I guess. Uh, I mean, it, it's hard for me to say because like a lot of the games, like I wouldn't know what they are because they would have just been canceled. It happens a lot. Yeah, I can't say for sure. Uh, happened uh, when Fire Emblem creator left and created Tier Ring Saga Nintendo sued him because it was a direct clone UI and concept. All they made him do is remove Emblem from the title. Yeah, and uh, I think that's fine, uh, but I think this is very different because obviously the code was leaked. I think the code being leaked implies malicious intent. I think that is a very, very big component to this. It's not like the Fire Emblem code was leaked and then the guy quit. How Nexon is firing these trademarks just barely, but I see your points very clearly. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I, I think that that that's a it's a very like again to me i think with a lot of things what matters the most to me is like what somebody's intent behind something is 
and what the effect of something is more than what the law, the letter of the law says. Does that make sense? Because there are a lot of cases where somebody gets fucked over by the law and they shouldn't have been fucked over by the law and vice versa. So in this circumstance, if what I think happened happened, I think Dark and Darker is totally in the wrong. Like, without it, like, dead to rights in the wrong. Super in the wrong. But I don't know that, and that's why I think they should investigate it to find out. It's that simple. Just got a red post for provides more context from Games and Leaking Rumors about 30 days ago. Oh, I think I read through that. Uh, the dev uh, left Nexon knowing the law cannot protect Nexon because there's very clear similar case in Korea and the company that got the code stolen uh, won the case, but the game uh, that had the code stolen got released. Dark and Darker is on the wrong, but it most likely uh, they can release the game even if they stole the code. Well, isn't that different though? Because like what your example is, is it's with a game that's already been released, whereas Dark and Darker hasn't been released. Uh, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Aren't you concerned about the bias in the investigation? Uh, the accused Iron Mace overshadowed by a giant wealthy company with industry and political inf influence? Yes. Of course there's going to be bias. But I think that... Like, sure. Yeah, that's bad. But I think also other people, like here, are having a bias in the other direction. Just because they're a big company with a lot of influence doesn't mean that you can just steal from them. That's not how things work. Yeah, I mean, that's... Just because it's a big company doesn't mean you can't you can just steal from the company. I mean, come on. Reddit or logic? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I can assume... Uh, you stole a cure for baldness, does it mean you should be investigated? Yeah, of course, but I didn't work for a company that, uh, that paid me to, uh, investigate, uh, a cure for baldness, and then canceled bringing it out. And then the cure was released, and then I left the company, and then started my own company for curing baldness. I mean, I, I think there's a, a number of little, little points there that are being left out. Well, overall, uh, you know, I think we've talked about this enough. We've, we've talked this topic into the ground. Uh, overall, I think that this absolutely is grounds for enough of an investigation. Does this mean that I think the people from Dark and Darker should just be thrown in jail? No, because they haven't, it hasn't been proven. I think that it, it is very likely that this is what happened, that they did steal the code, or that they did do this, that it was leaked maliciously and they took advantage of it by leaving the company. I think that's what happened. I don't know that. I wouldn't put them in jail for that. I wouldn't shut them down for that, but I would investigate it because I think that's the case. I think a lot of people are giving Dark and Darker the benefit of the doubt whenever every single fact seems to be pointing in the opposite direction. And, and I, I think that honestly, like, there's just a lot of common sense. You know, you look at the chain of events, you look at the timeline. How is this not probably what happened? I understand people like the game a lot. I totally get that. However, I think that you should be a little bit more realistic. Boys raided them and nothing was found, according to Charlie's video. Uh, no, that was the first time they got raided. This was like maybe a month ago. Uh, it just seems weird that they would themselves put themselves in legal predicament for this. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, I have no idea. People, you know, stranger things have happened. It's hard to say. Maybe they thought that they wouldn't get sued. Do you think that, for example, if they had stolen, it, it, sorry, if they had worked at the company that paid them to develop this game and they maliciously leaked the code and then quit the company and continued developing the game, do you think that is an ethical thing that should be allowed in the law to do that? Do you think that or not? It should be discussed, that's for sure. Yeah, okay, no, you don't. Right, of course. You're not saying that because you don't want to sound like you're wrong, but no, obviously you don't. It's ridiculous to even, to even consider that. Yeah, you would just say yes or no if you actually believed it. Like, any time that somebody uses anything more than yes or no to answer a yes or no question, especially in one of these circumstances, there's a reason for it.